Duty Bookman. Duty Bookman, Bookman Duty, died ca. 1791, was a Jamaican-born Haitian slave who was one of the most visible early leaders of the Haitian Revolution. According to some contemporary accounts, Bookman may have conducted a religious ceremony in which a freedom covenant was affirmed wink with a frown one, this ceremony would have been a catalyst to the slave uprising that marked the beginning of the Haitian Revolution too. Background Duty Bookman may have been a self-educated slave born on the island of Jamaica. Some sources indicate that he was later sold by his British master to a French plantation owner after he attempted to teach other Jamaican slaves to read, who put him to work as a commander, slave driver, and later, a coach driver. His French name came from his English nickname, Bookman, which some scholars, despite accounts suggesting that he was a Vodahongan, have interpreted as meaning that he may have been Muslim, since in many Muslim regions the term man of the book is a synonym for an adherent of the Islamic faith. One scholar suggests that it is likely that Bookman was a Jamaican Muslim who had a Quran, and that he got his nickname from this. Three, other scholars suggest that Bookman may have practiced a syncretic blend of traditional African religion and a form of Christianity. Four. Ceremony at the Bois Cayman. According to some contemporary accounts, in August 1791 Bookman presided over a ceremony at the Bois Cayman in the role of Hongan priest, together with priestess Cecile Fatimon. Bookman prophesied that the slaves Jean-Francois, Biasso, and Jeanette would be leaders of a resistance movement and revolt that would free the slaves of Saint-Domingue. An animal was sacrificed, an oath was taken, and Bookman and the priestess exhorted the listeners to take revenge against their French oppressors and see, A.S.T. aside the image of the god of the oppressors. 5. According to the Encyclopedia of African Religion, blood from the animal, and some say from humans as well, was given in a drink to the attendees to seal their fates and loyalty to the cause of liberation of Saint-Domingue. 6. A week later, 1800 plantations had been destroyed and 1000 slaveholders killed. 7. 8. Bookman was not the first to attempt a slave uprising in Saint-Domingue, as he was preceded by others, such as Padre Jean in 1676 and François McCandle in 1757. However, his large size, warrior-like appearance, and fearsome temper made him an effective leader and helped spark the Haitian Revolution. 9. According to Gothenburg University researcher Markel Filfers, the event of the BWA Cayman ceremony forms an important part of Haitian national identity as it relates to the very genesis of Haiti. 10. This ceremony came to be characterized by various Christian sources as a pact with the devil that began the Haitian Revolution. 11. Death and Legacy Bookman was killed by the French in November, just a few months after the beginning of the uprising. 12. The French then publicly displayed Bookman's head in an attempt to dispel the aura of invincibility that Bookman had cultivated. The name of the band Bookman Experience refers to him. A fictionalized version of Bookman appears as the title character in American communist writer Guy Andor's novel The Book, a leftist and anti-capitalist parable about the Haitian Revolution. Haitians honored Bookman by admitting him into the pantheon of Loa, guiding spirits. 13. In the Lance Horner book The Black Sun, the Bookman, Bauchman, uprising is retold. The Bookman is one of several devil masquerade characters still performed in Trinidad Carnival. The Haitian community activist Samba Bookman, assassinated on March 9, 2012, took his name from Bookman, 14. Pat Robertson's Pact with the Devil Allegation In the wake of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, veteran Christian radio and television personality Pat Robertson claimed that Haiti had been cursed by one thing after another since the late 18th century and, in an apparent reference to the Bois Cayman ceremony, revived the allegation that Haitians had sworn a pact to the devil. 15, 16, this view was criticized by urban legend expert Rich Bueller, who claimed that Robertson's statement was incorrect on a variety of historical points and propagated a common claim that Vodou is satanic in nature. 17. Several mainline and evangelical, 18, Christian voices criticized Robertson's remarks as misleading, untimely and insensitive. 19, 20, 21, 22. References for an insightful article on the function of religion in the Haitian Revolution, see The Rhetoric of Prayer, Duty Bookman, The Discourse of Freedom from Below, and The Politics of God by Solution L. Joseph, Journal of Race, Ethnicity, and Religion 2 9, June 2011-133. External links.